Hello everybody, this is Ashya from Parsing. So, a lot of people have requested me to do Indian bacon recipes, and this is the most interesting one. And I'm also doing because I want Akshay Kumar, the the leading you know uh, Bollywood actor. He always talks about his love for uh, you know butter chicken, paneer butter masala, but he wants a healthier version and a vegan version also at times. So I'm trying to do this for all vegan lovers. So we're doing tofu tomato masala, which is the same like paneer butter masala. So it's tofu tomato masala, and the steps are almost same, but there are a lot of healthy things that are being used here, and it is interesting. So first of all, some oil, about one tablespoon, a little more is okay. So to that standard procedure, cardamom, green cardamom, five to six. Green cardamom, and to that, I'm going to add some garlic, one tablespoon. And while the garlic and everything sautes, I've got five large tomatoes. Cut them into small cubes. So to the garlic, when it gets a little brown. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a small carrot, grated into this. Since this is vegan and healthy at the same time, red pumpkin, grated. So half a cup of carrot grated and half a cup of pumpkin grated. Saute this for about three to four minutes. The most interesting thing that you have something tasty, you have something healthy, and that's heart filling, isn't it? That's what you're making here. After sorting the grated carrots and pumpkin for about three to four minutes, I'm going to add tomatoes. I've taken five large tomatoes and chopped them a little big. And to this, I'm going to add salt. You can always do namak, chamak, tanak, 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 tanak. As for your taste, And you need to cook this until the tomatoes are mushy, they're pulpy, okay? That's going to take about 5-6 minutes. So as the tomatoes become pulpy, as you see here, it takes about 6-8 minutes. And then we add red chilli powder, Kashmiri red chilli powder, about 1.5 teaspoon. Be careful on the chilies, if you like it less spicy, it could be 1 teaspoon also, not a problem. And then mix it up, cook for a minute again. And time for some grinding. So I need to grind this to a fine paste. So when it is hot, careful, you need to add little at a time. Let the air kind of, you know, be removed from this. And very careful, very careful with this. It splashes out, okay? Add the rest to this. Now to avoid the whole thing to splash out, you need to be a bit careful on this subject. So what I can do here is take some soy milk, okay, add that and then maybe grind gently, very carefully. A nice paste. And that's what I want. Next step, a little bit of vegetable oil, one tablespoon. To this, maybe two green chilies, slit, okay, about one inch. Ginger, piece that is cut into julians, that goes in this. And that's a beautiful puree. I need to strain this into this wok that I have here and we strain this beautiful mix wow look at this superb no artificial color healthy ingredients what residue is left you can always throw it or you can use it in other dry spices okay so this is beautiful color I'm going to cook this you can't use butter so I've got almond butter for this. If you want to make it rich, I will not add too much of almond butter to this because I want this to remain healthy. 
So just about one tablespoon of almond butter. Remember that you are going to spoil your clothes. So always keep a cover handy. So once the almond butter mixes up, I am going to cover this up. When you cook this, you actually don't turn nice and thick. To this also add soy milk, a little bit of almond milk or buy the almond milk. Remember that it should be natural, no sugar. If there is sugar, not to worry because we will add some bit of honey so that sweetness gets balanced for tomatoes too. So mix this up. Beautiful. Now I allow this to cook for about 5 minutes. After cooking for about 4 minutes, we need to also check the consistency and add the tofu to this. Be careful while opening this. There's lots happening inside this wok here. And the tofu goes in. Cook it again for less than a minute. At the same time, add some kasuri methi, dried fenugreek, about 1 tablespoon of honey. Like I told you that if you have almond milk which is sweetened, you need to balance out and check how much honey you need to add. So I'm adding one tablespoon. My tofu tomato butter masala is ready and you can indulge in some great eating from now onwards, especially all those who are vegans and who've been trying to find out what to eat, what not to eat. You know, I've got uh, an issue with that. So now you don't need to worry because there is a delicious thing that has been cooked just for you. Just in case you use silken tofu, Remember to add absolutely in the last and that too when your guests are sitting on the dining table because that's going to get kind of melt or tear off and become mushy. So this one is not silken tofu, hence it is little firm. So there you go, ready, steady, go, beautiful, wow. And for vegans, there's a special bit of garnish also. No coriander, just mint here. Here's a delightful dish for vegans. Go ahead and enjoy this healthy one. And Akshay Kumar, if you're looking for some healthy Indian stuff, especially the ones which you like the most, I keep reading. I keep reading about it. You like uh, paneer butter masala, but you want a healthier version? Here's it. <laughs>